Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. Right, today we're going to be talking about something very, very interesting and something that perhaps matters most right about now. And that is Kabam's or Netmarble earning report. Right now, Cam is a fantastic uh, CCP member and YouTuber, and he's typically one of the persons whose information I always take in consideration. He does a great job uploading champion pros and cons. He has really picked up his uh, YouTube channel. Definitely do recommend to check it out. I will leave a link to his Twitter and to his YouTube channel in the video description, because yeah, it's a very, very great source of information. He makes very helpful videos. And one of his strongest signs is data and tables and graphs and analytics. And he has very analytical mind. So do I, but he's clearly significantly better at it, at finding this information, following it, and also producing uh, content on that. So we're going to go over first uh, what we can read from this graph and uh, his tweet. And then I'm going to obviously offer my own input. Uh, and you guys are more than welcome to put your input in the comment section. I will read every single comment that comes. So MCOC has reported their lowest earnings as long as net marble public records go back. Marvel Future Fight and their second Marvel Future Fight their second lowest earnings. But both of these games do tend to cyclically underperform in quarter one. Nonetheless, this is basically their worst quarter ever. And that's quite telling. And then we can scroll back here a bit. Uh, the sharp uh, dip in MCOC's earnings come after comparatively underperforming quarter four, likely due to poor Cyber Weekend reception, as the Cyber Weekend was uh, weak. Their historical high, highest earning quarter. If I were to speculate, the significant increase in Deadpool's spring cleaning value was MCOC's reaction. And I probably agree. Uh, spring cleaning definitely was juicier than it has ever been before. The incredibly underwhelming and unenticing roster of new champions added in Q1 and lack of challenging endgame content could also be contributing factors to MCOC's historic dip. Which is why now we're seeing Shang-Chi, who seems to be blasting everybody to oblivion. And my prediction is that next uh, 6 to 12 champions are actually going to be extremely, extremely attractive champions. Now, whether they're going to be very good or just kind of like neat and uh, all right, obviously remains to be seen. I can't see the future, but it's not hard to look great on the background of Psycho Man, Super Scroll, Jubilee, Mangog, even Odin. And uh, I really Strife, because Strife was superbly hyped, but you don't really see Strife about much. He's not a dominant defender, he's not a staple on Alliance War Attack on anybody's questing team, or an Alliance quest, or anything meaningful, really. You can hardly see this guy, despite the hype and all of the 79 exclamation point uh, reviews, you don't really see Strife. So I would actually argue that uh, none of the champions, none of the first six champions released this year have made any sort of relevance on the meta at all, whatsoever, which probably shows in their earnings reports now. Right. Obviously, the lack of endgame content they are trying to address and address quick. Now, we're going to have 7.2 come out in, uh, what, five days from now? And then we're going to have Grandmaster's Gauntlet, Summer of Pain. We're probably going to have something else come because they really do need to play catch up right now. Which is also quite important and which could be potentially the saving grace. I think Kabam had taken a bit too high and mighty approach with the idea that they can do anything and everything and they can get away with it. And to a degree, they can. Because any single individual thing is, has received a lot less backlash than it would have in past. And whether it is due to the fact that majority of the community's figureheads now are in CCP, or whether it is just because Kabam has worn us down as a community, uh, I can't really say that for sure. But fact of the matter is that uh, there seems to be less and less reaction to clearly faulty things that Kabam is doing, like the new champions, who absolutely sucks, have no relevance, and has no purpose in this game at large. But ultimately, despite the toned-down player disappointment, 
the results are seeking through the earnings report. And let me make something absolutely clear. I want this game to do well. I want this game to do to be the best game it can be, and I want this game to be as popular as it can be. But I do sincerely hope that this also can serve as a relatively good learning point for Kabam, that nothing absolutely drastic has to happen for this game to go downhill and fast. All it takes is to slack, get lazy, and lazy is a word I have used quite a lot recently in regards of uh, plenty of additions and content. May that be through reward systems for 7.2, may that be for compensations for AQ, may that be for champion design where they are overcomplicated and just, uh, well, purposeless in the game. I genuinely hope that somebody is getting their bottom chewed off in some office somewhere right now and that there are positive and great things to come if not for any other reason if not for the love of the game if not to make players happy then just to keep on making their money now unfortunately this week and this is no exaggerations i have had at least 15 people message me saying they're leaving the game whether that was the attitude demonstrated with 7.2 rewards, whether that was some other individual incidents, like with the mastery bug from incursions and not getting any compensation for that, whether that was uh, for Kabam's completely tone-deaf threat when they bugged their own game with the proving grounds. There have been many different reasons, but to me, it kind of seemed this week that players were almost waiting or looking for that final straw to break on their back. And obviously for a lot of them, it was the change in arena. Now, there is a good thing, which is uh, perhaps partially uh, motivated by the low earnings, that Kabam is working on a change to arenas. I can all but guarantee, based on the posts that they have been leaving and the forums, even though they haven't flat out said that the change is coming, the arena system will be changed. And they have to. Because arena is a fundamental basis of this game for a large, large group of players. And if that is not fixed, the reports will dip down even lower. But why am I making this video? Because there is a positive thing hidden in all of that. I do hope for two things. Well, I expect, first thing, which is Kabam has to make up for lost revenue, because that is quite simply how the companies work. If you underperform one quarter, you are expected to make up for it and overperform your expectations the next quarter. The most reasonable course to that would be with better offers, with more enticing champions, with more exciting content, be that hard, be that whatever, but the most reasonable way to get where they want to go is to get player base interested and offer great value, offer great fun, not just something that has been happening thus far. So I do expect there to be a lot of interesting things coming to Marvel Concept Champions. The only fear I have is that they're going to do it via the gear system and that could actually be the final mistake about makes. So as long as I don't overdo it with gear system, but actually work on very heavily in improving player satisfaction, they can bounce back very, very easily. And second thing that I expect to happen is Kabam all of a sudden to make a fairly decent amount of player-friendly decisions. Let's hope it works out that way. Let's hope that... Uh, don't want to say Kabam has learned a lesson because they sure as shit haven't. But at the very least, let's hope that the loss of revenue is a driving factor for positive change. That they have the best potential right now to ride on the back of renewal of MCU. Because a lot of shows, a lot of movies are coming out right now. 
and are set to come out within next year and next month, like Loki TV show and a whole bunch of other stuff. And that means a lot of new opportunities for new and fresh players. Let's hope that Kabam can utilize that, can reinvigorate the game, and all of us benefit from that. Me, as a content creator, by having more people interested in the game and watching videos on it, and therefore I get the benefit. Kabam as a company, who are getting their profits back to normal or increasing, and player base for having more engaging content, bigger community. Right, that is it. As I said, I'm going to leave a link to Cam's uh, YouTube channel uh, in the description below, and I'm going to leave a link to his Twitter as well, so you can go over his past tweets and his champion breakdown reviews and all that good stuff. That is it for now, and I'm going to catch you guys soon. See ya. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about